Hello people, today we're going to be doing a little bit of a first impression, a little bit of a, rev a review. Um, I got the W7 BAM High Impact Highlighter Trio. I've never seen anything like this before, so I thought before I open it and use it and get it all messy, you know, uh, I'll do a little bit of a first impressions review type thing. But bear in mind, I've never used these, so I can't really review them. But uh, I can give you my first impressions and what I think. Um, first off, I do like the packaging. It's got a bit of a uh, Andy Warhol vibe, I guess. Um, and it's a proper tin, you know. So opening it up, it just comes with three little highlighters. And there's a, a powder. I think there's a powder and two kind of creams, I think. But we'll check. But there's like three little things and that's the main packaging you know the first one we're going to look at is the glow commotion i got that right glow commotion they're only little they're not they're not actually as big as i thought they were going to be they looked quite chunky in the packaging but they're actually only that big but that's still quite a bit of product to be honest this is a shimmer highlighter eyeshadow so this is an eyeshadow so obviously for an eyeshadow that's pretty standard size and opening it up and, ah, it did come with a protective thing but it's just fell out um it basically looks like that so it's like a beigey goldy type color Um, i will put some pictures in of what it looks like swatched and stuff but uh that's basically what it looks like in the pan and it's very um it's very like goldy beige um, I'm sorry if the pictures aren't very clear because it is highlighter so I'll try and take them in the light so that you can see them but I'm not going to swatch here because then I'll be like all oh, this and you probably won't be able to see it and all that the other so I will take photos of the swatches and put them in but uh, yeah that's a bit of a powder it's an eyeshadow so you have to remember it's like an eyeshadow so I'll probably use that for like the brow bone and the inner corner I'll probably use that mainly for those areas yeah but that's an eyeshadow and it's like a pressed powder eyeshadow it's not gooey or anything like that it is actually um you know a powder so that's the first one that's called glow commotion um the next one that you get in there is the same type of packaging it's this one's the lilac one and this is called prism and it's a 3d highlighting powder See, I don't exactly know what 3D means. Does it mean that it's like sticks out more? I don't know. But this one looks like this. This one's also very like beigey kind of pink. But if you hold it to the light, because it's highlighter, you can actually see like pinky purple bits in it. I don't know whether you'll be able to see that on camera, but I will try and take photos of it so that you can see. But you can see like a purpley pinky type shimmer. Um, so that's the 3D highlighting powder and this is probably what you'd put here on your cheekbones and wherever you put highlighter like your cupid's bow or your chin some people put it on chin I don't put it on my chin but some people do um, your cupid's bow and probably up here as well that's probably where you'd put that because that is your highlighting powder again it's a powder it's not a cream I thought there was a cream in here but never mind um, and that one also did come with a protective sticker and the last one that you actually get in here is oh it's an eyeshadow okay guys i didn't realize i thought there was three highlighters but there's not there's two eyeshadows and three and one highlighter so this is called the glow commotion pink it up shimmer highlighter eyeshadow so this is the same as the first one that we saw but this one's pink it up so maybe this one's got like a pinky uh yeah it's a bit more of a pinky type uh darker shade so this is also an eyeshadow so this is exactly the same as this first one let me have a look eh. so yeah hang on so that's the first one that we saw this is the pink it up as you can see it's a lot more of a got like a pinkier uh tinge to it and it's a lot darker i actually think i prefer this one i think i prefer the um pink it up yeah and these will probably get used quite a lot because i do mainly wear brown i don't really 
experiment with eyeshadow. I do sometimes if I'm going out, you know, going out. If I'm going out, then I do experiment a little bit with eyeshadow, but not much because it ends up wrong usually. So I tend to stick with very brown nudes, sometimes a bit of a pink, you know, but that's about it. I don't really go like reds and smoky eye. I don't really do that because I can't. And that's that's the pure reason I can't. Um, but the the browns and the beiges and the pinks they do usually go so these will probably look very nice um perhaps on the base of the lid and then use a mat for the crease um yeah and like i say the other one i should probably use on the inner corner and the brow bone i don't know where the protective stick has gone though i had it just let me say so um yeah, those are the three uh, three different things you get. You get two eyeshadows and one highlighter. And they're all powders, they're not um, creams. I thought two of them were creams. I don't know where I got the idea from, but I thought this was um, two creams, but never mind. I prefer powder, so I'm, I'm actually happy it's not cream because I can't use cream. Um, Cream contour and cream highlighter, I can't really use. I do have some, but I find it very difficult to put on and I would much prefer just to use powder. I don't know why they bother making cream, you know? Um, I think if I mastered it, I'd probably find it looked better on my face, but I can't master it for some reason. I'm gonna have to take makeup classes, aren't I? Oh, for goodness sake. Um, but yeah, that's the W7 BAM High Impact Highlighter Trio. I just thought I'd show you it because I thought I'd make a good video, you know. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll leave links in the description below to this product. And, um, yeah, and I hope the swatches came out right. I don't know yet, but I hope they came out right and you can see the colours. But I will leave a link in the description below to where you can get this. And, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. That's my first impressions. They look pretty cool. I'm going to try them and see how the uh, formula is. And then we'll see. So, yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed for more videos from me. If you're interested in any other reviews or anything like that, I have some on my channel. So, I'll leave them in the cards or the description or whatever. And, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this video. And I'll see you next time. Bye.